drop the green flag. It's been Nelson PK Jr. out front. He has led all 28 laps. We're on lap 29 here at the Rock of 200 laps scheduled for this one. Right now, Nelson PK Jr. with almost a five second lead over Matt Crafton. Is he too hard on his tires early? I don't know. He's, he's continued to open up that lead as we see some three wide racing right in front of him. But, you know, we, we said experience. You had to have experience right. here. Nelson PK has never raced here before. He did test here. All of the of the Red Horse teams tested here back in December. So that certainly had to help. That's a Hornet's nest he happened upon. Here's Casey Kane. He's just outside the top 10, dri driven up on the back tailgate of Joey Coulter. Casey ran a few laps around the top there, trying to see what the truck was like on, on the high side, but now he's gone back to the bottom. That's the fourth truck out of the Turner Motorsports. I said Red Horse. It was Turner Motorsports that tested here in December with Nelson Piquet, Miguel Paluto, and Timothy Peters. Now Joey Coulter just in front of Casey Kane. It seems as though Casey Kane has been methodical about staying on the bottom of the racetrack and just picking trucks off one at a time as he gets to him. Methodically worked his way inside the top 10 at lap 30, starting in the back of the field and is driven up to the 10th spot. So I don't think he's done either. There's a few, about nine more he's got his, his, his sight set on. And the next one is going to be Ty Dillon just ahead in the three truck. I, mean, I just love that Casey Kane made the effort to be here from Texas. I mean, he could have certainly stayed home and watched this race along with David Rudum, and they made the trip and are in this race. And we know Casey Kane is an extremely talented driver. He races on Sundays normally. But remember and think about what he's been able to do. He's racing for different teams. This is Turner Motorsports he's racing for. He's raced for Kyle Busch Motorsports. So he's won in different equipment, and he looks as though he's one of the strongest trucks again today. After that race, I talked to Mark Martin, extremely fit man. Uh, talked to Denny Hamlin, uh, Kyle Busch. Those guys said, man, that was a tough race. They ran 234 laps of green flag action to finish that race. He gets in his plane, he flies here, and now he's in a race vehicle again today. I know a bunch of those cats are sitting on their couch watching the truck race today. And how difficult is it behind the wheel here? Because you are constantly fighting a loose race truck. What I love about this, these lap times, Phil, 27.3 seconds is leading the race. The cup cars back in 04 qualified down to the 22 second bracket. So you don't have all the G-forces because you're not going totally as right. fast as you used to. But your arms are going to get a workout because you're going to be turning right as much as you do left. Close to two and a half seconds off what the pole was yesterday. Yeah, already two and a half seconds. We're 34 laps into this on lap 35 and we've lost two and a half seconds of what they started this race going. What did I tell you? Lap 25, can I have some tires, please? I, <laughs> yeah. I need them right now. And Ray talked about that as well. What would happen if the caution would come out at lap 25? The ideal scenario would be because you have five sets of tires every 40 laps. Races never work out in an ideal scenario. Good battle right there. There's the three of Ty Dillon leading that group. He's running seventh. Then you've got Justin Lofton in the six trucks. Ty Bodine right there in the left of your screen the 11 truck and oh by the way here comes Casey look down Casey. on the bottom bottom of the racetrack working around that 11 of Todd Bodine Bodine again has won here in the nationwide series two times but Casey Kane has never won here his only cup start he was able to finish second in that race and trying to do better than that today right a little bit loose in about a 4.5 on loose off for Casey Kane, but what he just said to Mike Shiplett on the radio was, I cannot believe how much wheel input I have to use on this truck through the center. He said, these things are really jumping around out here, but I'm having a ball. Yeah, that's what race car drive, we talked about before the show started, that's what they want. They want to have to drive these babies, get them a little bit sideways, that's fun. Ty Dillon on the outside, Justin Lofton just behind him. We saw in the setup earlier Justin Lofton Parker Kligerman with a great battle here in the Arthur Racing Series. Lofton was able to claim the championship after Parker Kligerman won the race. Five, five, one finishing position throughout the year would have changed that. And just think about that move into turn one on the last lap. He about threw it all away sideways down into the first turn. We thought one of the favorites would be the 18 of Jason Leffler but early mechanical problems for them has him in the garage Hermie. Yeah, and he was our spotlight driver this weekend on speed. Jason had an awesome truck all weekend. What happened? And did you, did you have any warning at all? Uh, it, started, it just started vibrating about a half lap before that. And looked down, and there was no oil pressure. And as soon as it did that, it just blew up. I think, I think it broke a crank. So 
Uh, Dollar General card was really good. I thank all the guys for giving me a good chuck. It was, it's a bummer. It's a good race for us. And uh, I, was, I might just feel bad. So on to the next one. As Jason Leffler can't describe the feeling that Jason must have. Knows this is a great opportunity, a great race team, and just cannot buy any luck so far this season. Opposite ends of the emotional spectrum. Everyone with smiles, the electricity, and you can see how dejected Jason Leffler was that he's out of this race now. Nelson PK Jr. has a six second lead now over Matt Crafton running second. Kligerman, Peters, and Busher, your top five. Because ethanol has a higher octane, American ethanol provided NASCAR an increase of 8 to 12 horsepower in 2011. American ethanol fast facts. Great crowd here at The Rock. Nelson PK Jr. continues to dominate. But I'm guessing those tires are getting to be really slick on the 30. He has a 10 second lead over Matt Crafton. But they're slick on everybody else's truck, too. That's Ron Hornet, a four time series champion, and that nine truck wiggling through turns one and two that he's about to put a lap down. Look at Ron. He could barely get that truck off the second turn. And I agree with you, Phil. Nelson is fast, and he hasn't sliding around that a whole lot. I don't watch him having his truck all yawed out. He's pretty straight, and he's making time. But it's going to get more and more difficult with each truck he approaches to try to lap him. Ron Hornaday doesn't want to go lap down this this early here in Rockingham, and he's going to fight Nelson all he can. The last time by, only two drivers were still running laps under 28 seconds. It was Parker Kligerman and Casey Kane. Casey Kane still looks as though he is methodically moving up. Parker Kligerman was the other one that was able to run under 28 seconds. The 30 of Nelson PK Jr. though still clicking off laps, Ray. And uh, the big question, Rick, is how long are you willing to leave your drivers out there? So I just went to Chris Carrier, Nelson PK Jr.'s crew chief. I said, how long will you stay out if we go green? He said, somewhere around lap 70. The driver's not going to like it, but we got to go for it. Hermie? Well, Ray, we got to give a shout out to Jeb Burden in this 27 State Water Heaters Chevrolet. Now, he's got his dad on the radio with him, that being Ward Burden, who had a lot of success here over the years as well and is talking about throttle management that's what he's been telling ward jab about every lap you can see he's doing a great job slipping and sliding around this racetrack but he's keeping his composure great save right there by jeff burden but he's driven from 27th up to 11th right now doing a heck of a job for his first time at the rock you know guys ray was talking about chris carrier and talking about nelson pk jr his crew chief Remember when Parker Clickman won that Arca race in that great battle with Justin Lawton back in 2009? You know who his crew chief was, right? I believe it was Chris Carrier. It Carrier. might have been Chris Carrier, <laughs> absolutely. Well, that truck's hooked up. He has been able to keep his truck down in the 27 second bracket, like you said, Rick. Last time by 27 9 9, only truck in the 27s. But he's barely in there. Right. <laughs> Ty Dillon on the outside of Justin Lawton, those two battling for position. Eighth and ninth. The battle between those two. And for most of the trucks in this field and drivers, that caution cannot come out soon enough. Or hit their crew chief springing down pit road for a green flag pit stop cannot happen soon enough for them. Because these guys are, are they've never been this far on, on a set of tires this weekend. And they're, some of them are thinking, come on, y'all y'all got to be kidding, right? Look at the way that truck. Yeah, that was Polly Polly Rocky about wiped out off turn four. Sideways off turn four as Ty Dillon makes the pass by him. Justin Lofton moving to the bottom of the racetrack and the blistering pace that Nelson PK Jr. is setting right now is amazing. There are only 11 trucks on the lead lap for 53 laps into this race. Watch his hands. Watch Ty Dillon trying to wrestle this truck around this corner. As soon as he adds the gas, whoop, got to turn to the right. There's a lot of correcting here with that steering wheel. And this truck is running in the seventh, eighth spot, so you're running in 28th. Can you imagine what that steering wheel looks like? It's a lot easier to run good than it is bad. And we can hear him pedaling the throttle, too. You can't just drive down to the center of the corner, jump in the throttle, and drive it off. You have to work that throttle as well as that steering wheel. At the drop of the green flag, everyone with the freshest tires were able to 
make some good lap times and then on lap five problems for the seven of John King got him to the inside wall. They brought the caution out and since the green flag has flown we have been under green flag conditions and now the tires have worn to the point where we're running three and four seconds slower than what they qualified at. You know that's what's funny we have a slick racetrack probably a slicker racetrack as these guys will ever see and we've had one caution flag here in 55 laps. The guys just adapt and manage. That's, that's exactly right, Phil. You have to understand your conditions and stay within yourself, especially early in the race. You can't pitch it away. That's what happened to John King, unfortunately. And everybody, I think, probably noticed, looked at that and said, okay, I've got to keep my truck under me so I can work on it and make it better for later. They're second. Matt Crafton, we were following Nelson Piquet Jr. There is a 12-second gap between first and second now. That's almost a half a lap. Nelson Piquet Jr. almost has a half a lap over second place Matt Crafton. And he's driving up on the back of the top 10 to start trying to put some of the trucks uh, inside the top 10. A lap down. Amazing run early for Nelson Piquet Jr. Kligerman running in the third spot right now. He's 13 and a half seconds behind Nelson Piquet Jr. We saw down to about 110 miles an hour in the center of the corner for Parker Kligerman. And he's one of the guys running up in the top five. He's running third. Look, watch it, watch that. 101 miles an hour in the center of the corner. That's probably what, 20 miles an hour off what he could do on fresh tires? <laughs> At least. At right least. back into the throttle, upwards of 145 miles an hour as he enters turn three. Battle for sixth right here. Casey Kane has chased down Johnny Sauter. Listen to him feather that throttle. Probably didn't get it wide open until he's up on top of the hill there, going straight. Going dead straight. Just easy into the corner here. It's even worse off two. Casey Kane, after starting in the back, has worked his way up into the seventh spot. They were the correlation here on speed. 